Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So today, instead of going absolutely insane, we're going to go somewhat insane by looking at the default insanity in Universe Sandbox 2 because I've kind of glossed over all of the simulations the game comes with. I mean, I go to them every once in a while, but I haven't actually, like, gone through them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the most exciting ones, and we're just going to look through the explosions that the uh, game developers put in, because I'm sure they're, they're pretty good. And um, we're going to start out with Supernova the Sun in the solar system. So, let's do that. And death. Now, Earth, yeah, Earth never stood a chance, actually. We're very quickly vaporizing away. Uh, the surface temperature's all over the place. It's going negative to, like, 20,000 degrees Celsius. The Earth is actually being pushed now. Uh, pushed very quickly. How fast are you moving? Oh, actually, it's not changing its relative velocity too, too much. It's just going in a different direction now, you know. Okay, so, I think that's that. Um, It's a supernova. Extremely exciting stuff, but we've done crazier. So, let's look at, let's just skip the other supernova because that looks exact. Oh, it's slow motion. Whoa. Now we can watch it slowly come towards Earth from the surface of Earth and act like we're about to die. Hey, look in the sky. That doesn't look good. Oh no, it's getting closer. What do we do? Oh my, it's getting very close. It's getting kind of warm. I feel strange radiation. Oh, no worries. It's all going to be okay. Um, any second now, it's actually going to start getting very warm. Oh, look at that, the oceans are receding. Isn't that unfortunate? I'm sure it's no problem. Oh, it, everything just froze, and now the oceans are receding even more. Oh, there's no water left. Oh, lava is starting to erupt out of the ground. That's okay, we're going to be completely fine. Nothing is going wrong. I am completely okay with this situation. I'm not about to die. Now there's lava everywhere. The floor is lava in real life. Um, yeah, I, I think it's the end of the world now. But no, it's going to get worse as the world heats up more and more. Oh my, now it's yellow. Kinda looks like the sun. Uh, getting brighter. It is blinding white now. Okay, can't get much worse. But no, it's gonna become blue, and boom, vaporized. Goodbye, Earth. You're now made of, you're now made of gas because you vaporized. Earth, you gotta stop vaping. Come on, Earth. Okay, so, Earth and exploding moon. So, we'll go on the surface of the Earth for this, and we will be looking up at the moon as it explodes. And let's see if this actually looks good. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. Moon has exploded. Luna has uh, annihilated itself. Oh. Look at that. We are conveniently away from all of the meteors. Which makes this slightly less exciting. But I'm pretty sure a few will wrap around and hit us. So here they go. Whoop. Past Earth. Oh, we're fine. There's absolutely no. Oh. Uh, yeah, those are kind of worrying. They're all exploding all over the place. But that's okay, because space, the final frontier. And. Yeah, I think we're pretty much safe now, you know? Oh, it's night. Look at that. City lights all over the place. Earth has actually been hit pretty hard in some areas, um, but for the most part, it actually wasn't that bad. In real life, it would have been much worse. Trust me on that. Actually, you shouldn't trust me. I blow up the world. I mean, I'm probably the worst kind of villain there is. Oh, now Earth exploding onto the moon. So we'll go on the moon for this one. Uh, for the time being, we are Neil Armstrong, um, or Buzz Aldrin. Uh, we're, we're someone who went to the moon 
And it's okay because we're going to look up at Earth and we're going to be all like, Whoa, it took so long to get here. All the training, it paid off at last. Look at that. Isn't Earth a little close? Never mind. Let's ignore that fact. And any second now. At any second now. Any second now. Uh, we are actually being ripped apart. Oh, there it is. Oh, that doesn't look good. Look at that. The Earth, it has exploded. That's never a good thing. Uh, we're going to go to this side so that we can actually see the explosion. Oh, no. Explosion. All of this debris is flying out directly towards us. And we are actually going to be hit pretty soon by something. Oh, oh, the, the, the crust of the earth is actually about to collide. Oh, how convenient. It disappeared before it hit us. Um, actually, not many of the particles that were thrown out of that explosion are going towards the moon. Got pretty lucky that, oh, yeah, the shockwave did actually hit. <laughs> Rip moon. Aw, the poor moon. Never did anything to anyone. The humans, they infected it, and then they set off millions of nuclear bombs on Earth and killed it. The end. Actually, probably more than millions of nuclear bombs. So many Tsar Bombas. So many. Okay, so... Sun exploding in Jupiter. Oh, that's slightly more powerful. Oh, poor Jupiter. Never stood a chance. Especially considering the sun is slightly large. Oh, actually, Jupiter didn't do too bad. Nah. Could have been worse. Still bigger than Earth. Um, 34 times as big as Earth. So, you know, didn't take it too badly. That's okay, Jupiter. Let's look at... Uh, Earth exploding in eight series. So this is basically just going to hit all of the series, blow out particles from each, and they make a cool little design. Whoa. Well, that was uh, slightly underwhelming, slightly, considering nothing actually like got affected other than a bunch of little asteroids. But Earth exploding in real time. That was actually really fast. Um, I don't want to imagine what would have to happen for this. Like, accidentally create a black hole in the center of the Earth causing... Oh, that would cause it to sink in. It would cause it to heat up, but that would cause it to sink in. Um, accidentally create millions of black holes around Earth, ripping it apart simultaneously. <laughs> there we go. That, that makes more sense. Whoa. Yeah. Actually, some scientists way back actually thought things like that would happen if a nuclear bomb was detonated. They thought it would, like, catch the atmosphere on fire and start a runaway reaction that would cause a giant explosion from all the oxygen in the atmosphere. Thankfully, that never happened. <laughs> Thankfully. That would have been kind of bad. Okay, next. Supernova. Close up in real time. Oh. That's literally just a supernova, although it's in real time, but we're going to speed it up because real time is way too slow. Whoa, and it just keeps getting bigger until it fades out out of existence. So let's go years and years and years and hundreds of years and thousands of years and tens of thousands of years, and it's disappeared. Supernova in galaxy. Oh. That's actually much bigger than I would have expected. Um, that is very visible. It's actually taken up like 1% of the galaxy. Wow. And now in this nebula, new stars will form, except I don't think it simulates that. But yeah, pretty much. Okay, so I think that's all of the exciting uh, things we've got in here. We can look at other, ooh, 
I haven't been in other before. Bouncing planets. Bouncing? Really? Are they actually bouncing? Or is it just like... No. Not the bouncing I was thinking of. Okay, um... How about experiments? Collapsing momentum test. Oh. They're all just going to hit and merge in the center. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Goodbye Mars, other Mars, other Mars, other Mars, other Mars, other Mars. Mars number 23. 72 actually I don't think there were that many but you know maybe there were maybe I just wasn't keeping track which I wasn't okay so this was all very nice and exciting but I think we're going to end it there um or are we let's just do one stress test Ooh, there's new ones let's do um something ridiculous Let's do the sphere of a thousand planets. This possibly, this couldn't possibly lag at all. Yep, my computer is very, very uh, optimized for this sort of calculation. This is, uh, someone sent me an AMD Ryzen 7 and a uh, compatible motherboard and then we'll be able to simulate this. I need those 16 threads. Uh, Jewel, calm yourself, Jewel. Calm. Calm yourself. Shush. Calm yourself. I know. I know all the planets are being destroyed. Stop being upset about it. It's beautiful. Annihilation is great. Okay, so, continuing, we have lag. Massive, massive lag. But it's okay because they are slowly merging and getting closer and closer to the center. Who would have known physics could be so laggy? Actually, I do because I play this game. Also, I tried simulating other things in my own projects that got kind of ridiculous with physics. So, yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10 physics. Uh, great for killing computers. Um... I really suggest trying it if you ever have a computer that you really want to kill. So I'm just going to kick my uh, computer's fans onto high. Uh, give it a little bit of extra performance there. Cool things down a little bit. Okay. And. And we're so close to the end. We're so close. The end is nigh. What will be left? What will be left? Oh my. That kind of exploded. Oh my. This is it. This is the this is the survivor. It's the champion. Uh Q weird the champion. Oh, never mind. Copyright. Darn it. Okay. Uh well, that's it. We will end this video with uh we'll just name this planet Champion. We'll use them at some other point. And um if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe below. If you like and or subscribe, you will get your very own vacation resort on a newly discovered island on Spook Voop. Oh, that's Spock Vopper. Um, what's that? Spook Vooper, the amazing planet. And uh, it's this island right here. This one. Yep. That is where it is. Why was it undiscovered before? Because I was too lazy to look for it. So yeah, um, it, it's not frozen. That's just, that's, that's not accurate. If you go there, you definitely won't instantly get frostbite and die. The sun has not given out. There are no problems there. Stop asking me questions. And um, yeah. See you all next time. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks great. Unless you want to live on the mountains, then you will probably get frostbite and die, because... Where'd I even go? Oh shoot, I've lost my own planet. Dang it.